Hi, my name is Kathy Linz, and I write books. I have a book that I would like to read to you. It's called Chickens May Not Cross the Road and Other Crazy But True Laws. And it has a lot of information in it, but it has some really funny stuff. So I'm going to read you some of the cool parts, and you think about uh, what kind of a crazy law you think we should have next. So here it is. Chickens may not cross the road and other crazy but true laws. It is against the law to carry an ice cream cone in a pocket if you live in Lexington, Kentucky. So be careful how much ice cream you want to carry around. Elephants may walk on Main Street only if they are on a leash in San Francisco, California. This page tells why we have crazy laws. Sometimes people wanted to help someone else, like don't lick toads, but um, some of them are just plain weird. In Texas, if two trains meet each other on the same track, they must both stop and wait until the other one has passed. Does that mean that no train can move? Donkeys are not allowed to sleep in bathtubs in Brooklyn, New York. Okay, I won't do that. No one may carry an uncaged bear down the highway. Hey, if you're strong enough to carry a bear, <laughs> <laughs> You're doing really good. You must have a doctor's prescription to take a bath in Boston, Massachusetts. No one may lay laundry out in the street to dry in Savannah, Georgia. Well, wouldn't your clothes get dirty if they laid down in the street? It is illegal to tie a crocodile to a fire hydrant in the state of Michigan. Well, that one even makes sense, because then the firemen couldn't get there. And this says, what would happen if we didn't have any laws? Well, then anybody could do anything, and they could take your bicycle, and it would be okay. No one may take a lion to a movie theater in Baltimore, Maryland. Would you really want to watch a movie with a lion in the building? Monkeys shall not ride on buses in San Antonio, Texas. You have to wonder if somebody did that once. It is forbidden to fish for whales in Oklahoma. Now, there are no oceans in Oklahoma, so I'm not sure how many whales they're going to find. This page tells about the oldest set of laws that we know about. It, the man who wrote them was called Hammurabi. <clears throat> Policemen are allowed to bite a dog if they think it will calm the dog down in Paulding, Ohio. Cats may not chase dogs up telephone poles. That's at International Falls, Minnesota right on the border by Canada. Maybe their dogs are different up there. Only the first four firemen to arrive at a fire will be paid in Ziegler, Illinois. That would make sure the firemen got there in a hurry, wouldn't it? You may not swim on dry land in Santa Ana, California. Chickens may not cross the road in Quitman, Georgia. I wonder why not. Then we talk about the rights of the people in the United States. A pickle is not to be sold unless it bounces. That's a Connecticut state law. <laughs> I wonder how they test that to see if it works. 
Horses may not eat fire hydrants in Marshalltown, Iowa. Do you think a horse ever ate a fire hydrant? Trout fishing is against the law if you are sitting on a giraffe's back in Idaho. I wonder how many giraffes they have in Idaho. No one may drive while asleep in Memphis, Tennessee. I think that's pretty much a law everywhere. <laughs> Riding an ugly horse is illegal in Wilbur, Washington. <laughs> All traffic must come to a stop if there is a bird on the highway in Utah. Barbers can't eat onions between 7 in the morning and 7 in the evening in Waterloo, Nebraska. I think they just didn't want him to have onion breath when he was working on the people. If anyone is caught stealing soap, he must wash himself with it until he uses it up in Mojave County, Arizona. <laughs> These two pages tell how our laws are made in the United States and how we can vote for the people who make our laws, and that's how we get to help choose what kind of laws we get. And then I have an author's note. Many laws are just plain crazy no matter how you word them, but some sound less crazy in their original form. For example, the California Fish and Game Code has a three-page list of animals that may not be kept as pets. It's funnier to pick out the oddest animal on the list. It is illegal to keep slugs or land snails as pets. Many of the laws in this book were established during the end of the 1800s and the early part of the 1900s. Our country changed quickly in the 20th century, going from hand and horse labor to machines. We learned how to drive cars, fly planes, and dry our clothes in a machine. That rapid change gave us laws like drivers of motor vehicles must come to a stop if they scare a horse, and it is against the law to drive a car into town without calling City Hall first. Some of these laws went out of date and were repealed. The rest are still on the books, but not, are not enforced because they won't work with our new way of doing things. And, well, they aren't enforced because they just don't make any sense. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you for um, listening to my book. I Have a good time. <laughs>